Hello YouTube, this is, well this video's one that I've wanted to do for a long time. Uh, we're not going to talk about this four-wheeler here. Not going to talk about it. Just not really going to talk about it here. Um, we're talking about this thing. This is a, <clears throat> to unknowledged idiots, you'd probably think, this is a Farmall F20. No, this is a Farmall M. I think it's 1950-something. It's in actually really good condition. The only reason we have the hood pulled off and the grill is because, well, they need, I want to repaint them. I've really wanted to see this thing with new paint for a long time. And I want to get that dent out of this thing. I don't know how capable that's going to be with that. It goes just a big dent. I want to replace this Farmall logo here. Then this thing, my dad actually painted up the hood multiple years ago. And, well, when he did it, he used a circular sander. So there were circles covering the thing. And not too long ago, Grandpa replaced the radiator. I was sitting here on the shower chair, just trying to get this thing apart last night. Well, <clears throat> we do a spin around here. She starts up great, but all we need here is, <clears throat> it's pretty dirty, but we need a starter cap, not a star, why do I keep on calling it a starter cap? We need a starter cover to go up right here so I can pressure wash it. And the setup and mold bowl needs a bit of a clean earner. Cleaning. And actually, I need to spray some WD-40 on here. I want to take the wheels off so I can get them repainted correctly. And Dad said those things haven't been off in 60 years. Did a person just pull in? Nope. Oh yeah, and also another thing about WD-40 here. If you've got <clears throat> um, would-be problems, spray WD-40 in their hole. It kills them. Figured that out last year. So you just want to come up here and give her a nice soaking. Just want to keep on doing that every day until, because these are new tires. But they're, they're not new tires, but they're unused because... Because, well, this tractor doesn't get the use it used to get. And this thing's got the hand crank thing. I've never seen a tractor be hand cranked. I really want to buy a hand crank for her. You can see this thing's relatively new right here. This radiator and paint's already chipping off of it. <clears throat> oh, yeah, I came over here to spray these. I do the back here. This thing had a belt pulley on it at one time. I think we still have it somewhere. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, and <clears throat> if you're watching this like Mr. R or somebody, you probably wouldn't know. But would a International Harvester 1066 wheel weights work on a Farm All M? I want to know, because we've got some 1066 wheel weights, but not any M weights, and I'd like to see some wheel weights on her. Uh. Sorry for that. Still relatively new to this recording thing. Well, now I'm going to take a screwdriver, an old one, old, it's falling apart, and go up to all these mud dauber nests and just go... Right here, I was starting to dig away with this one with a wrench yesterday. You really want to be careful so you don't damage anything. This tractor at one point in time <clears throat> was ran daily. It would do feed mixing. So she ran 
hundred dollars a week probably. Over that, who knows? Now we hardly ever grind feed. That's our 806's job. Whenever that happens. <clears throat> and now we've actually got a Farm All 300 that <clears throat> has a bit more paint on her than this thing. But still, this this baby's good. And here's something you don't usually see on an, on a Farm All. Let's see if I can get up here. Identify this. You can't. That's a hand clutch. John Deere's had hand clutches. But this here is a hand clutch. Now it hasn't been used. It hasn't been. It hasn't been used in who knows how long. And really, who knows? And my grandpa said he ain't trying it. <clears throat> and I don't feel like doing it either. Then here we've got <clears throat> well, the seat, obviously. But I've seen, I don't know if it was the older ones, but I've seen things where people were standing on these and farming. So I don't know if that was like a different variant or a different seat type. I don't really know. But then also, <clears throat> I don't know. And all the headlights work on it. They're not original, obviously. If they were original, that'd be ingenuity for 1955 or whenever the heck this was made. I'm gonna go back to digging at that mud dauber nest. Bad view. I need a GoPro with a GoPro mount for my hat. That'd be a lot better. My paint's chipping off the seat here. I need some sandpaper, just go over it with a bunch of sandpaper. Or a circular sander, just go over with a circular sander, then sand over that. Because I'm not buying a sand blaster. And things are expensive. So I was looking at something today and it said what <clears throat> the serial numbers purpose it. I know what the purpose of the serial number is, just it said how to identify the age of one, and I have completely forgotten. I've done a lot of research on repainting farm malls at school. Uh, the that parental's probably like, what in the world is he trying to do? Oh yeah, look at that bright red paint under there. And also, like, Mr. R, if you're watching this, <clears throat> what kind of paint do you use for a tractor? That's not spray paint, because I've been all over the internet saying, if you go in, it was like latex paint, then it was like, nope, nope, don't use, don't use latex paint. And it was like, use an acrylic paint, nope, don't use an acrylic paint. It's telling, it, the internet's like, use this, use this. Don't use that. If you use that, it'll destroy your build. Well, I don't know. need some paint. Get old paint. And also, another question I've got since Mr. R does more work on this than I do. Is this original or is my grandpa or great grandpa or dad or somebody just put tape over these wires? And also, another question. Can I just paint over all of this? Like pressure war shit and then paint over like all these wires and crap and the spark plugs or do I have to put Take those out, put tape over it. The gas tank here, it's full. So I'm not going to take that off. I want to <clears throat> clean that sediment bowl out. Just get it clean. They need it. Next week it's going to be ne like 90s almost. So I want to <clears throat> bring the pressure washer over here and give her a clean. Only problem is I can't drive one of these things. And Dad said it's your project. Really, I, I got 15% battery left. Huh. <clears throat> okay, well, I guess we'll talk about this four-wheeler and the reason it's held together with screws. Don't really know. 
buy it off a local auction like this. Just I bet the tires were in a teensy bit better shape. And I think it just started raining out there. Now this four-wheeler, I don't remember where we got it. We got somewhere that we had to drive a bit. And the day we got it, something went wrong with it. Don't know what. Does this thing have a charger? What the heck is this? Huh, what's in there? Is that like, I don't know what that is. Oh yeah, having steak for dinner. Gotta fire up that grill here in a bit. Yeah, well, <clears throat> don't really got much to say other than this is a nice tractor. And I want to look, see it look even nicer. And what kind of paint to use. I don't really got much to say about her other than <clears throat> she doesn't get as much use as I want to. I, I don't I don't want to work these tractors too hard, but then also I don't like them. I, I don't like to see them just sitting there, not getting used. So like this this thing sat for a year in the back of a shed. And I'm like, I don't want this to be the fate of it. Just sitting in the back of a shed, slowly eroding. I, <clears throat> I love old stuff. I want to preserve old stuff. Ever since I've gotten into history and loving history, I've just wanted to preserve it all. Especially from the Titanic. Titanic's an amazing history subject. If you're getting into history, I'd start with the Titanic. Yeah, she just need she needs a wash and well actually I'm gonna tell you something. Last night, I'm pretty sure it was last night, I was trying getting the hood off and I couldn't figure out how the heck to get a muffler off. I was like, How do you do this? Dad walked in here, shook it off, and it came off. I was also like, How do you get that off? He came up here. Pop. I was just unknowledged of it. But <clears throat> that's all I've really got to say for this. That's all for now. International Harvester is the best. Good day, mates.